In this episode of Slick Nick's Arcade, we're going to jump out the plane, pull the ripcord, and land safely in the landing zone. that know me, you know I'm a big fan of the Bronze Age games. And uh, I've got a lineup here behind me that you guys can take a look at. But in particular today, we're going to look at Skydiver by Atari. It's a pretty rare Bronze Age game. And when I say Bronze Age, it's pre-1980. They're black and white. Um, I'm going to show you a close-up look at this game so you can take a look and see what the gameplay is like and uh, see, see how much you like this game. Take a look at it. Really neat artwork overall. Cool game concept. I'm a fan of uh, controls that are are a bit more on the custom side, things other than joysticks and just buttons. You can see on this one, you've got rip cords to be able to pull and float down. There's a jump button. So the object of the game is to jump out of the plane, let free fall as far as you can. That's what adds up points. Then you pull the rip cord and you float down the remaining way. The thing that makes it a bit more complicated is there's wind resistance. You see the flags, depending on which way they're blowing, there's wind going in that direction and it, it would cause you to go off course. So you have to take that into consideration when you make that jump out of the plane. So you can jump a little later or a little sooner, depending on which way the wind is blowing to be able to safely float into the landing zone. And depending on how long you hold out in free fall before you pull the cord is what adds up your point totals there at the bottom in the landing zone. Really fun, interesting game. One that I really enjoy. And it's super rare, right? So this is one of those games that not many people have it. Um, in fact, I only know of a couple of people that have this game. And I was first introduced to this game, like many others, at Grinker's Grand Palace in Eagle, Idaho. Um, where this was part of a Bronze Age tournament, and that's how I discovered this game. And then I had to have one. Same with Frogs. Same with Stunt Cycle. Same with Space Zap. Same with Superbug. And also the same with the Mega Race. So you can see how much of an influence that place had on me. But I was very fortunate to be able to find some of these, especially this one here. Um, and I even have a spare uh, board set, which can come in handy. So without further ado, why don't we play a few games of this? Okay, so we're playing on the black side. So you gotta jump out and parachute down. Jump out of the plane, parachute, and you have to land where the flag is. That's the goal. And if you look at the flag, depending on which way the flag is going, you're gonna have some wind resistance, so the wind's gonna blow you back. So you have to account for that as you make your jump. So here, I pulled the chute early because it was a lot of wind resistance and I landed on it. And depending on how late you wait to pull your chute, you get more points. So I got 470 points on that one. Two hundred ninety for that one, and then if you look at the top, the word skydiver spelled up there. And if you can uncover all the letters, every jump after that you get double the points. So I'm having to pull these kind of early, depending on the wind. So that one is two hundred fifty points. So you can see it blew me backwards. I have to pull this one fast. The planes start to go lower and the wind starts to get stronger. This one's only worth 190. Now we hit Skydiver. See all the letters are there? So I'm getting double the points for everything. Depending on when you hit the jump button, 
one of the letters would be illuminated and we were able to successfully illuminate all of them. So we're getting two times score at this point, like it says at the top. But the scores are small too. Oh, crashed, ambulance came to get me. Didn't land in the the wind is really pushing us outside there we go i think that means one up yeah for six thousand i think you could have one up oh landed me outside the pad yeah the wind is killing me this level it eased up and we landed on the pad very good you have to react really quickly you kind of have to almost jump blindly before you get a lay of the land because it's happening so fast, you're right there. And the wind blew me out of the box. Crazy, right? So 7350 is our score. Now, prior to last week, my highest was somewhere around 10 or 12,000. And then I went on a tear. I had this crazy game where I was able to get something like 24,000 points. Crazy game. Let's give it another shot. Okay, with the black side again. And you can play this two players. Oh, waited too long. To pull the shoot went splat. You can play this game two players if you want. It gets a little crowded. Uh, we are having a bad game so far. 530 points is a pretty big one. We can float right into the zone. And you don't have to have both feet in the zone. As long as you get one foot in that zone, you get the points. Five hundred and thirty points. Pull it and float a little. There we go. Four hundred and thirty points. Oops. That one is weak. Hundred and ten points. Still landed it. Landed outside the zone. Wind's blowing hard that way, so you gotta jump a little early. And they do shift the wind direction, sometimes in the middle of the jump. So it can get tricky. Right there, you see the example, it's going left and right. Okay, 190 points. Almost there on the skydiver spelling. Oh, it blew me off. Off the screen. So that's it, 4,030 points. All right, that was a poor game. Let's try it again. One more. Four hundred and ninety points. didn't land in the area. See, by the time you see where you're at and the wind's already blowing, sometimes they can really get you in a corner. Okay, that was a nice one. The goal is to get those letters uncovered as quickly as possible so you can get double score while you can still land these higher scoring jumps. So once you're about a minute into the game, the planes start flying really low and you can't build up your score as much. So even that jump was worth 330 points. And we're talking from midway of the screen, that was 390. But they start to get lower, faster, with more wind. That was only 170 points. That was a good one, 350. Got three letters left. Ooh, I missed that one. I was looking at the letters. Totally missed it. Okay, we're gonna have to react quick right there. Pull the shoot. That's gonna be only 70 points. Crazy. No good. Okay, you have to overshoot it and come back when there's wind like that. Oh. Yeah, it happened too fast and the wind's flowing full blast in that direction. Nope. I hit the jump button 
without even seeing where I was. So you kind of have to react quick at this point. Oh, you're going to miss that one. Look at that. The plane was halfway across the screen before I could even see what was going on. 4,500 points. Pretty poor score again. Yeah, sometimes you just get in the zone and uh, everything's going your way. You've got double scoring happening, double the points because you've uncovered skydiver letters. And it just flows. We'll do one, one more. Five hundred and fifty points. Five seventy. A couple of big jumps to start. Oh, splat. Five seventy. Five fifty. 510. So far, the jumps have been strong. Oh, come on. Nope. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. I thought they weren't going to give that one to me. 370. We're almost there with the letters, too. Looks like things are going our way. Two letters left. That one's a K. We got it. Now we just need the V. And I think what letter you get has to do with the timing of when you pull, when you jump from the plane. There we go. Double points now. Blew that one. No pun intended. Nope. Wow, I missed it in both directions. You see that? All my lives on the same flag, pretty much. 56-20. So we, things were headed in the right direction. Everything was looking good. And then we just got stumped by this one. With the combination of the plane coming out, the placement of the landing zone, and the wind resistance just kind of killed us. I think I lost three lives on that one. But super fun game. Lots of replay value. Extremely rare, right? I, I think I only know one other person, maybe two, two other people that have a skydiver, personally, that I've ever seen. Uh, but one of those Bronze Age, black and white, super fun games that anytime this is available somewhere, and I think the only time I've seen it is at Grinker's Grand Palace, it always has a line of people wanting to play this. Almost every Bronze Age tournament we had, from what I remember, had Skydiver in it because people love the game so much. I think the one year that I went that it was not in the tournament is because the game was broken. It wasn't working. What do you guys think of Skydiver? Drop me a note down below. Let me know if you've ever played this game, if you think it's a good game, if you think it's exciting, if it's one you never want to try. These are the letters up here. So depending on when you hit the jump button, if one of these is illuminated, that's the letter that you'll uncover on the screen right in there where it says skydiver neat concept seems like something that would have been derived from pinball so this is quickly becoming a uh, favorite part of my my arcade, my, my garage arcade. This is where I have my Bronze Age games. Stunt Cycle Frogs, Skydiver, Space Zap, Superbug, Omega Race. Anyhow, hope you like Skydiver. Thanks for watching.